Let's have a look now at some more interesting and innovative ideas about mixing fuel and air. One of these, which my own team has been working on, works as follows. Supposing that there was some way of smoothly shutting off the airflow into the engine duct. Fuel could then be dropped or sprayed in, in the form of solid pellets, encapsulated gas or liquid droplets, or a mixture of these. The duct could then be opened back up to the airflow. And if this was done with the right timing, so that the fuel was falling through the duct at a time, the flow would envelop the fuel and it would be distributed evenly through the mixing volume. Since the fuel has inertia and since it is initially not moving with respect to the airflow, it could be designed to penetrate the flow to a predetermined depth, thus solving the mixing problem. One way of switching the flow like this is with a rotating sculpted nose cone. In this case, the cone has a series of standard scram intakes around its perimeter. And as it rotates, these sequentially first shut off the flow and then allow it in, so providing the required effect. In between the scram intakes, when the air is shut off, the cone appears as a supersonically efficient pointed cone structure. If the nose cone is moving more slowly than the speed of the air molecules entering the ducts, it appears essentially stationary to them. As we will see later on when we discuss other systems, the ability to inject material into the flow like this has applications other than just injecting fuel into it. Although such a system appears more complex than the visualization of a typical scram jet which has no moving parts, it does overcome the major problem with these, distributing the fuel evenly throughout the flow.